So being in week 11, uh, it's a grind. You know, a lot of guys are banged up, but it's also a mindset. Um, you just gotta kind of stay focused. You know, focus at the task at hand. And you know, this team got big goals, big dreams. So at the end of the day, we're, we're gonna continue working. We just continue to do what, what, what we've been doing, you know, just not worry about that. It's in the past and get ready for next week and start today. You know, go out and attack practice. Yeah, the senior leaders on the team, um, we, we've been able to just tell guys that everything's still in front of us and um, really regardless of the outcome, regardless of what everybody else is saying, regardless of any out, outside noise, we just need to focus on practice and just getting on with the next thing, which is winning against Kentucky. Let's do it. We gonna attack the day. Kirby Smart, all access. Sample steady for the first game. Try to play at the Notre Dame. The whole nation got the crowd going, playing Tennessee for the fifth game. We gonna attack the day. Between the hedges where we play. They, they, they about to come to the state, but Mississippi sitting right in our way. They got the rankings in order. Jacksonville, Georgia, Florida. Then we go back to the state. Drive two hours away. All the Tigers who we play, then we go back to the old fashioned hate. Georgia Tech is who we play, then we go back to the old Georgia way. We gonna attack the day. Kirby Smart all access. <laughs> Kirby Smart all access is presented by Georgia's own. Georgia's own credit union. It's your future, own it. Also brought to you by AT&T. This segment of Kirby Smart All Access is brought to you by Nissan, proud supporter of college athletics. Shop ChooseNissan.com. Take on today. I think it was very important to us to kind of get a look at what the, what the other team is doing and how to prepare for them. Not only that, but get a look at ourselves and see how we can improve. It's very important to watch film and uh, break down the opponent just because every week uh, a defense seems to be doing something different. We have to get used to it just because in the SEC, everybody doesn't play the same defense or play the same way. Really, any chance I get, um, if I'm not studying for a class or doing a project or you know, in between meals or while I'm eating a meal, I'll try to get some film in. Um, it, it's just easier on game day when you know your opponent, you know what they're going to do, you can know what to expect and it helps preparation because you can go into practice um, during the week knowing, hey, this is what this guy is going to do, this is how I need to practice to beat him. The will to win begins with the will to prepare and that's basically what our art department is all about. maintain the, the database technology that uh, helps produce the statistical reports that our coaches and our players um, use to go ahead and study film, study tendencies, analyze opponents, and uh, analyze ourselves so that they can be better prepared uh, for the different situations they're going to find themselves in on, uh, on game days. All right, guys, at this time, all cards should be formatted. Tripod head should be level. Get a good focus and a good white balance. Our coaches are studying all these different angles um, so that they can uh, see the different techniques. You know, um, a, lot, uh, a lot goes into that. Um, they, you know, whether their foot's back or, or front, you know, how uh, their head up, you know, or back. Uh, so coaches want to see as many angles as they can. Typically, uh, it's a sideline in an end zone, uh, and then sometimes we'll use a, uh, a quarterback pole, you know, as well, which is a lower <coughs> end zone camera to give more of the quarterback perspective. A under the sideline, B with Cher, C with Cheney. Right after the game's over, um, we're able to hand an iPad uh, and uh, surfaces to, uh, to coaches so that they can watch it on the, the bus ride or the plane ride home. Um, players are also able to do that with their, their iPads as well. So, you know, <clears throat> immediately after the game, coaches are showering, they're getting on the bus with their iPad and starting to break down. It is a little surreal when you, especially after a, a football game, you get on the bus and, and you hand an iPad or Surface to Coach Smart and he's watching what you did. Like his, for the next hour or so on that bus ride home from where we were coming from, 
he is watching what I shot or my students shot. So it, that to me shows how important what we do because they use it to get better uh, and to get ready for the next opponent. If Roquan Smith wants to watch an upcoming opponent's offense, he can do it from his dorm room. He doesn't have to wait or come up here to get the footage or wait for a DVD, anything like that. He can watch it instantaneously. So as soon as practice is in, after that 15 minutes of practice actually being done, we're pushing it to the cloud. And when it gets to the cloud, he can go ahead and start watching it when he gets home. So by the time the student athlete showers and gets home, he can watch practice. It's amazing just on the video staff of how fast they get the film done. Um, from a practice standpoint, by the time we're off the field, the practice is up and uploaded. I don't know how they do it. You know, when I first started doing video, we were doing beta tapes, and it would be three hours after practice before practice all the, all the way in. But now, like I said, we strive for 15 minutes. Uh, anything longer than that, I start getting a little anxiety, a little stress, because I know soon coaches will be knocking on our doors saying, well, where's the footage? You know, in high school, they have to wait a few days to see one day at practice or see a game film. But after that, like, I take a shower, get in an ice tub, I can go straight into the meeting room and see, like, what I worked, what I messed up on, what I didn't do right, what I did right. So the next day, before anything, I could just immediately go on the field and do what I have to do from what I messed up because the film was just right there. It's an honor and a privilege to be around it's such an awesome program with with championship tradition. Uh, and at the end of the day, you know, I'm just a, just a big fan of football. And it's awesome to be able to see uh, the, the inside of Georgia football and to be able to be around it and uh, just to have a little small part. Everybody's a fan here. I mean, everybody wants us to win. Everybody bleeds red and black. So winning is definitely the highlight of our job. This segment of Kirby Smart All Access is brought to you by Hyundai proud supporter of college football and loyal fans everywhere. I think Mark Stoops is a really good head coach. He's done a tremendous job up there. The energy and enthusiasm in that game last year um, when we played up there was incredible to me. It's not um, really how I remembered it when I was here before as a player. So uh, the challenges in front of us, uh, with a great Kentucky team rolling in here that I know they want nothing more than to uh, come in here and try to prove they're the best team in the East. So we get an opportunity to play them at home and it'll be a senior day, so we're excited about it. You, you said after the game, the big thing was gonna be how your team responded to the loss. What have you seen so far and what do you wanna see? Well, first thing I've seen is guys come in here with a good attitude yesterday, ready to work, good spirits. You know, these, these guys, they'll respond the right way. They're made of the right stuff. and. Um, that's all we can ask him to do, is come in with a really good attitude and get to work. Expect him to do that. I'm excited about moving on, getting a chance to go get to work on Kentucky today, and that's what they have to do. You know, the focus for us is totally on Big Blue because we got to go out there and stop these guys. Is a game like that, you know, kind of make you, I don't want to say circle the wagons, but a chance to hit the reset button as a coaching staff, you know, when you have a game that, that turns out the way that one did? Yeah, I think anytime you get a chance to look at everything from that standpoint, you do. Today's another opportunity for us to go out and improve and get better and develop our team to get better so that we play better in this next game. Obviously, our seniors being senior day, it's the last home game for a, a group of guys who've been really special to me, uh, but they've been really special to this dog nation and uh, the legacy they leave behind. And a lot of them you know, had opportunities to come out and it'll be their last chance. So. Um, they've got an opportunity to win what may be their 38th, possibly 39th uh, win of their careers, which could rank them right in the top 10 senior classes to ever play here. They want to be one of the first teams to win the SEC East and, and beat everybody on the East. That's the first for them. Chance to go undefeated at home, which hadn't happened since, I don't know, 2012 or 2011. They want, to, they want to be able to do those things. Big thing for me is that, that everybody else on the team acknowledges that it's their last home game and you prepare and play as if it was yours. Because I know what that last home game means in Sanford Stadium, it's the one you remember the most. And these guys have meant a lot to this program. They've meant a lot to me personally, they meant a lot to the staff, but they've meant a lot to this university. And I think we all owe it to them as a fan base, as coaching staff, as a team, to make sure that we give them our best effort. Yeah, the senior leaders on the team, um We've been able to just tell guys that everything's still in front of us and um, really regardless of the outcome, regardless of what everybody else is saying, regardless of any out, outside noise, we just need to focus on practice and, and just getting on with the next thing, which is winning against Kentucky.
All right, some things from practice yesterday, all right? Because he's like Zoe. He may be screaming off the edge right there. By the time you go down and, like, tap Pat and come back, he's around, around the corner, okay, around the edge. So make sure I just set on that guy quick, know where I'm going. This guy is all the way out here in space, that outside linebacker, where they don't want the outside linebacker out there in space. So we're doing that because that guy is coming. When this, now, he may not, but that guy out there is a high, high, high tendency, so we're thinking that guy's coming. See that, Jackson? All right, take him right now. All right, good. Okay. Good job. That ought to look just like that, man. All right, going to be a good, it's going to be a big day running the football Saturday. It's going to be a great period. <laughs> Coley's picking and choosing when he wants to be mic'd up. So that tells me when Col it's a great show. So when Coley's on it, we know it's all an act. This is real. Let's do it. Ooh. Those hands inside. That's it. Now finish. Go, Charlie. Go, Charlie. Go, Charlie. You gotta set that edge. Hey, where you at? Where you at? Let's go, Jeb. Let's go, Jeb. That's better. That's better. Well, they're a great team. They play hard, you know, on defense, and they run to the ball, and they're very physical and tough. So just we have to be physical with them and. Uh, kind of get things rolling back for us. Compete Amir. Compete Amir. Run, Miko. Go, Miko. Turn him in, turn him in. Right there. <laughs> Come on, Will. What we say? What we say? No mercy. No mercy. Hey, Nate, you see that rainbow? Right. It's going to be a good day. Be read one right. My four years here have been patterned with uh, growth. I think that's the biggest thing. I've learned a lot about myself. I've learned a lot about others. I've grown a lot. Um, my relationship with God, with my fiance, with my friends, um, just been impacted and poured into while I've been here, and I really appreciated it. Team day to me, I mean, it means a lot just to um, see how far I've came and the rest of the seniors. I mean, uh, you come in as a freshman, all the older guys always tell you that this time is gonna fly by, but uh, you never know uh, or feel it until it's the week of. I felt like, you know, I, I played my heart out between the hedges. You know, I, I enjoyed playing with many guys in the past, now, in the present. And uh, it's been fun. It, 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 it still is going to be fun. Saturday's going to be fun. We're going to make it a good one. And make, make sure it's probably our best one. It means a lot, you know, coming you know, a long way. Me and the rest of the seniors have been been for a while. And it's, it'll be emotional for a second, but after that, it's you know, back to playing the game and doing what we love for the last time in Sanford. This segment of Kirby Smart All Access is brought to you by AT&T. Why do you do what you do? Why do you do what you do all off season? Why do you do what you do every day? Why do you do what you do every Monday, every Sunday, every day at practice? You do it for days like today, man. This is why I do what I do for these men. This is why we do what we do for these guys. Every one of you, you lay it on the line for these guys. You lay it on the line for these guys. Physical toughness, relentless effort. It will not be easy, man. It will be a four-quarter game. It will be a four-quarter game. But we have got to break their wheels. you got to demonstrate it on the football field and do it for each other. You've got a hell of a thing in front of you guys to go accomplish. I want you to play as hard as you possibly can. You hit as hard as you possibly can. All we got is us right now. If we got to go out here, if we got to get it done, As we get underway, cats in white, dogs in red and silver, and here we go.
going to pull it down and run it. Quarterback draw from 45, 50, from 45, 40, 36 yard line. Sony going to get the handoff. He's got space at the far side to the 40, to the 35. From out of the shotgun, takes the snap, direct throw to win. Seven, handoff Chubb, cuts behind the blocker, gets into the end zone, touchdown! Oh, what a beautiful move by the senior Chubb. He ran right up the backside of a blocker, bounced out to the right, and nothing but green grass in front of him, into the end zone for the score. The Hogs here just need to get Something going on the offensive side. Play fake from throws it wide open across the middle. Von Wims running a crossing route from left to right. He had all kinds of space. Looking, looking, throws downfield and a tumbling effort caught. Play fake from, he'll throw it and his target is in the end zone. Caught touchdown, Javon Wims. Reached up with two hands, caught it, crossing the goal line, standing up, and the Dogs lead it 13 to 6. Here comes pressure. He stepped up in the pocket, and Rokon twipped him up for the sack. A draw to Sony, 35 30. Oh, he runs by two men, 20, 15, 10, 5, dives for the pylon, near corner. Did he get it? You bet he did. Touchdown, Sony Michel. Jazz hands in the end zone, baby. Bomb goes under center, hands off to Chubb. They grab him high, bounces out to the near side. 45 50. Speed sweep to the right. Swift with a blocker from Blazevich, 30. Hand off Sony, angles to the near side, to the five, to the four, to the three. Touchdown! Yeah, he got there again! Wants to sling it deep. He will throw it deep and will pick it off! with Chubb through traffic across the 50, far sideline, 40, 30, race to the end zone, 15, 10, 5, touchdown! We'll run the Wild Dog, snap it to Michelle. He runs left, 2, 1, goal line, touchdown, Sony Michelle. Or just a clinic there by the Georgia Bulldogs. Kirby Smart All Access is presented by Georgia's Own. Georgia's Own Credit Union. It's your future, own it. Also brought to you by AT&T. Offensive line dominated the second half. And I tell you, you break people's will by the way you run the ball. I'm telling you, it wears them down. Every cut matters. Every cut and every chop of that wood keeps matters, okay? Guys, that was a total team victory, special teams. Great job. <laughs> seniors, stand up. That right, right, seniors. First seniors. time in the history of Georgia football that you went undefeated in SEC. Yeah. 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 Proud of you, man. Hey, the work doesn't quit there. The work does not stop there. You guys have done a great job. You defensively kept chopping wood. I'm so proud of what this team's done, and it's done it with every man here. Every man here has had some part of that, and I appreciate that. Something they'll never be able to take away from is the SEC's change. They'll never take that away from them. All right, now let's go be state change. Yeah, right? Mm -hmm. Let's worry about being state change. I was able to make a play for my team and I, I gotta tip my hat to you know all the guys who are out there you know making plays so that you know so that I can you know D-line doing their job linebackers doing their job the rest of the DBs you know none of this stuff would be possible without a whole complete team effort. You know we uh, we've been working focusing real hard on communication up front on the offensive line so uh, I think we had uh, probably our best game of communication tonight and I think that's what helped us uh, win tonight. You know we had to get back to work and um, play that defense we always play and uh, I feel like, you know, we play better, but we still got a lot of improvement to do. Can't put it in words, man. You know, these are the times you'll never forget. I miss this crowd to death. Um, they was rocking for us, man, and our younger guys played hard for us, man, and can't we just put it in words, man, you know. I just want to soak it all in today. Uh, absolutely, you know, we're such an unselfish bunch. We're such a, a, a brotherhood, a family, and you know, the underclassmen just wanted to do it for the singers uh, tonight. And you know, I just thank each and last, each and every one of them, you know, for doing it for us.
Congratulations to the senior class and this football team for what they've accomplished. Absolutely. What a great honor it is for these guys to go out on top, to do something no Georgia team's ever done before, win the SEC East, go undefeated in the East. And it's their leadership that's led us to this point. I'm really proud and I'm happy for them.